Yo, what's up guys, we're here at the Canadian International Auto Show. Yeah. Yo, Dodge Hornet from it's Dodge. It's a scam? Damn, the Hornet badge is kind of clean. All right, we're at the Hyundai area. Got the Envision. This looks sick. It's shaped like an egg, bro. like an egg. Like a Panamera? Like a Panamera? Now the front end looks pretty good, but the back end looks horrendous. It looks like a Roblox car. Yeah, dude, it was, it was the same car. It looks like a Roblox car. It was literally that car. Is it? Yeah, you remember that, right? Okay, this is, I'm pretty sure this is a hydrogen one, right? Bro, the, the styling is insane on this. It's like a Roblox car, bro. Again with the Roblox? Look at the body style, look at it. It actually looks dude, like it. Okay, people are making fun of the Cybertruck, but this is kind of like the same styling. Yeah, this one looks better than the Cybertruck. Yeah, it looks way better, but like, yeah, same styling. Yeah, it's like very like 80s, like 90s kind of design. Pretty sick, pretty sick. Why, oh dude, why is that so dis, just ugly? What am I even looking at, bro? <laughs> it looks like a fake Urus. Yo, this thing is beautiful. That's crazy clean. I love the, again, the 80s design, like the 90s kind of styling. The highlighter color? Wait, what oh, dude it is? Yo. Wait, why is it at the Zubaru section? That's clean. Yo, look how low it is too. Nothing really interesting at Zubaru. Yo, this color is sick. I have this in Forza. Look at the interior too. Much. We're pretty much done with the first floor. I'm gonna go to the second building. Now, this is the spot. Yo, I like the matte finishing as well. Look how light this door is, yo. This is crazy. Wait. Oh yeah. Yeah, imagine how light this is. It's a risk, I think. Yo, bro. I think it's stripped out. There's nothing in there. These are track cars. That's actually a chill-out system, so it goes into the driver's suit and it cools them down. They don't get a lot of ventilation in here. Every car kind of has, has a different configuration. This car also has like some knees here, which you can pop out. It's also for driver cooling. Um, but not all of the cars are going to have the same kind of thing. Yeah. And these are all track cars, by the way, right? Yeah, so these are all driven. These are all race cars. Um, this is a GT4 spec race car. That's a TCR class race car. And this is a TCA class race car. Oh, yeah, look, they have a trap door in the top. Well, these are bolted on, too. Oh damn, so how, how would you open it? That's what I'm saying. Wait, is there like a latch? Unless they leave it open while they're racing. Uh, that's a hatch. Okay. Emergency hatch for the driver to come out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, this bolted. Sorry? This is bolted though. Right? They can, they'll still uh, pop it out. They'll oh, still, uh, still, they'll still is pop it Is it from inside? Okay. You can pop it out? Or I don't know how exactly they take it off, but they'll still pop the hatch off. It's just in, in case of emergency. How is he going to take it off? These are bolted in. Yeah. Well, I've never specifically asked, but I'm not sure. Oh, okay. The panel's made oh, in the no, but my question is, how do you even open it? Yeah, it's probably like a uh, latch or something. In case of fire, it has to be quick, right? Yeah. So those things probably just pop, pop, the pop. I'm not sure how to open it. It's probably, you know. Yeah, because I'm not sure either. <laughs> Wait, I'm pretty sure we've seen this at uh, Import Fest. Yeah, yeah. Ain't hey, no way. You read the 2GC? Cool. Bro, you can't see anything to that one. <laughs> You're going crazy with the promotions. <laughs> no, but yo, you can't even tell there's an SCI. Like, the entire body's completely morphed. Crazy clean. But this is a, this was an import fest, right? Yeah. I think I missed it. This was an import fest. This wasn't. 
But yo, the actor was there too. Um, Jesse's actor from Fast and Furious. That was awesome. Is this, that wait, is this a Rocket Bunny kid, right? We saw that at Import Pass. Yeah. What, is, what kid is this? That's Rocket Bunny. That's Rocket Bunny. Yeah, it's, it's a Rocket Bunny kid. Josh, we saw this at Import Pass. This car? Yeah, but it was painted before. It oh yeah, wait, white. this is the same car. It was not white before. Damn, it looks so good when it's completed. Like, this color is sick. Sick. Dude, I love the, I love the, selling on the LI2. Clean. The four, oh yeah, I remember. It's recording us, bro. We're gonna be on TikTok. Let's stand there for like 20 minutes. Just so we can get on the sign laps. Yeah, that's clean. Just got the RX7. Not Lego is the rims. Even the calipers are Lego. Like the brakes and stuff as well. The full interior is Lego as well. Yeah? How long did it take to make this? It took them 8,600 hours over 10 months. Were you working on it? 10 months. No, I wasn't working on it. Uh, if I said yes, we would have kept the camera on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yes, I, mean, I, I did make it. So, like, is the entire thing made of Lego? Like, the full yes, thing? Yes, it's all Lego, except for the wheels, the rims, and the chastity framing inside. It's all Lego. So, so can you actually, like... 400,000 pieces of Lego. Damn. Uh -huh. Can you actually drive? Like, you can't drive this car. It's just for... It's a, the toy version of the... But, but the, the toy... The there. Lego Bugatti could drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one drove. But how, how come but this, this is... This one, you got to talk to the builders. I didn't build it. <laughs> so, they just designed it that way. Plus with the real Lamborghinis, the doors are open up like this. So this one, the doors are open. Maybe next year, we'll build it. That's sick. There's a mini Lamborghini in here as well. The design is crazy. Look at all the carbon fiber too. Yeah, look at the spoiler too. That's clean. over there as well what do you think of the Serato? what's up? it's a off-road Lamborghini Huracan I've never seen this it's pretty sick the Porsche is having an um, off-road car as well the Dakar yo you see that? see the price tag? 3.6 million crazy it's USD by the way yeah so it's even more even more that's crazy this is 630 30 cab alright that's not bad it's not bad. That's not bad. <laughs> Compared to that. Okay, Compared to that. Oh, what is that? Joshua, heads up. What is One this? of three in existence. That's such an odd shape. Like, the interior kind of looks sick. Such an odd shape. It was 87. 87? I think it's 87. Is it 87? What did it say? It looks like 1987. 1987? Damn, it's so ahead of its time. Like, look, look at the interior. That screen in there and up there. 1987? That's crazy. And up there. It's way ahead of its time. Wait, oh, either E3, M3, the Wait, are these all like movie cars and stuff? Oh, they had the, the, the Back to the Future like yep. mods and everything. Like, that's crazy. Someone about that. My own. Your DeLorean's one of the sickest cars ever. 100%. Cool Civic over there as well. Oh, that's an 87. Where's this, sir? Oh, it's a new Magic Civic. Is this a Le Mans car, right? Yeah. Oh, 918 Spider. Yo, even like the, the P1, La Ferrari, they're all like hella old. Like a decade old almost. And they, they're like ahead of the time. Yeah, like even ahead. now it looks... Look at it, it looks like 2022. Yeah, that's crazy. 2015, just imagine. 2006. Okay, I'm 24. Twelve seventy units, one thousand two hundred seventy units. That's not a lot. Yeah, like, this is fourteen of which initially came to Canada. I can imagine seeing this in two thousand six. Like even now, it looks like up to date. You but know the what lights mean? in front looks kind of. Yeah, the, it looks definitely. Okay, there's some parts of it that don't like the lights and stuff. Like, like, like even the in the real. There, bro, the nine eighteen. I don't believe that's twenty fifteen, bro. Yeah. There's no way. It doesn't look like that. I'm pretty sure that's from two thousand twelve or something. Twenty fifteen. Basically, like that. Oh, I'll walk the guy in his Top 
Hello. This is actually the car I based the poster off. Like yeah, the... Oh yeah. Oh, is it here? Yeah, it's right here. Yeah. Obviously had the regular charger police car. Yo, free bro. Free me, free me, bro. Free Mata Sao. Bro, Porsche poor got... Yo, wait, there's no door handles inside. How do I get out? Yo, <laughs> there's no door handles inside. <laughs> This is Zio's too. Damn, up hundred? Imagine driving on the highway and getting pulled over by this. Mm -hmm. no, no. That'd be crazy. No, no. He uses on the. No, on no, the it's just for the the auto show. It's just been mocked up to look like a police car, but uh, uh, it's 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 inappropriate for police use. The police vehicles have to meet certain specifications in order to be used for police use, and this doesn't qualify. I mean, like in the U.S. and like other countries, they they have like some pretty sick cars as yeah. cop cars. True. But Guys. that's in the U.S. or yeah. other countries, right? Sure. In Canada, we follow different rules as to what vehicles police can use, right? Yeah. Have you ever uh, got to driven it yet? No, no police officers driven oh. this vehicle. It's just on loan for the purposes of the auto show. That's oh. it. But I've driven lots of the other police vehicles, the Tahoe, the Explorer, the that's Dodge true. Charger. Yeah. Yeah, that one's cool too. Yeah. Yeah, we use those on a regular basis, but yeah, not the Camaro. That's just a showpiece. That's it. I mean, it'd be cool to have it though, right? Oh, of course it would be a cool thing to have, but it just doesn't serve a, a, a good purpose in policing for the most part. Yeah, other than sure. to garner attention, as you can clearly see today. What about high-speed chases? We avoid high-speed chases, oh, yeah? yeah. Especially if it's for a minor traffic offense, because it's just too dangerous, it's too much liability, because as I was saying before, if somebody is seriously hurt or killed as a result of a police chase, it's the officer's fault. Really? Not the bad person trying to get away. So we try to avoid that at all costs, meaning we use different techniques, you know, air support if it's available, or we intercept that vehicle with another car, we have stop sticks, we have all sorts of different things to try and end a pursuit, or not even get the pursuit started, if we can. Uh, there's all different types of technologies and techniques that we can use. But no so, direct chases. I'm sorry? No direct chases. Well, right? sometimes we do have to. Okay. Sometimes we do have to, but we have to weigh the risks and the benefits. If there's a whole lot of risk and not a lot of benefit, you're probably going to say, no, I'm not going to get into this pursuit. But if you got somebody who just robbed a bank at gunpoint or somebody who just killed somebody, you want to stop that person because they're a serious danger to society. So you're willing to take that risk to stop that dangerous individual. So you just have to weigh the risk and the benefits when you decide to enter into a pursuit. All right, thank you for your time. You. You're welcome. Have a good day, guys. Oh. <laughs> Take care. The doors are so freaky on this, but yo, what? Yeah. Wow. Yo, it's literally. So interesting. The doors open like 90 degrees. That's crazy. Both of them too. Yeah. Rolls Royce. Yeah. It's pretty sick. The industry is just changing from like gas to electric. Yeah, it's, it's crazy, isn't it? Like all of this is uh, oh, this is, we said this is a hybrid. That's an Avalon, I think. It's yeah, called the Avalon. Avalon yeah. Wait, is that hydrogen or is that electric? Uh, I think, I think, yo, the interior is nice. Oh, the headlights on this is weird looking. Yo, we can go in. It's open. Come on, Cody, get in the whip. Bro, are you getting in? Yeah. Alright, go in. I mean, there's people. Dude, just get in. Dude, alright, alright, fine, I'll get in. I don't like how the. Is it Camaro? Which one? Camaro? Camaro. Feels pretty nice in here. The print look. Yeah, the print look. Yo, you're gonna hop on the other side? Hmm? Hop on the other side? Yeah. It's actually pretty spacious. It's kind of spacious, but like. Oh, probably because I'm used to SUV. Kind of feels like. Yo, tight. that screen is crazy though. Yeah, I mean, most of these electric cars have like. But yo, this is so. Screen. This is like perfect for me. Like, I can see everything. Like. I love that new car smell. Oh, the JBL sound system? Yo, it's a prototype. It's a prototype yeah. vehicle. Let's check some other ones out.
Not gonna lie, this. You wanna come inside? This, this space in the back. Not gonna lie. What do you think about it? Dude, this is sick. Damn. Let me get the interior. The color is green. Yeah, I really like the, the orange. It's super flat. Oh, good enough. oh, it's the 10th anniversary? Oh, damn, I didn't even know that. A GR badge over here. Can you just hold the for a second? I mean, the interior is nothing crazy, to be honest. It's low. Yeah, it's super low. Dude, I'm like literally like lying on the floor. Wait, you forgot how spec is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Is it the manual super? The red leather too? Interior is so much nicer. Super clean. Super clean interior. What yeah, the black with the red interior is crazy. Yo, this is nice too. Super low. You vlogging? Yeah. Oh. How did the vlog? What's up? Bro, what's Mario, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? You like I my car? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. I love your car. I had the carbon edition, so it comes with all But the it doesn't. You know what? Like Based on uh, yeah, you must when I sat inside the, the LS versus the sitting in here, this feels a lot more like the regular IS, like this yeah. whole interface, and the other one doesn't feel like that. All of this looks very much like the regular IS. This, the same thing? Yeah. This is pretty much like all three of those cars over there. But that LS was completely different interior. I gotta check that out. You, you that yeah, you, yeah, should, yeah, you should sit inside that. That's completely different from this. This is like, this looks regular to me. Bro, this thing? First hands-on experience. Yeah, but pow power-wise, it's probably yeah. amazing. Power-wise, it's probably amazing. But the interior quality and whatever? No, that no, you this, gotta set up. Yeah. yeah. You gotta do it. No, so but this looks very similar to those yeah, ones. I, I mean, even with the options, oh, you get, I don't think it's I gonna I get be... what you're saying about yeah, this. Yeah, it doesn't idea. look any different than... I get what you're saying, yeah. But this is the driver's car. Yeah. Oh, yo, damn, they got two of them. So they made it the LFA. Uh, Weren't they working on like a LFA successor? Like an electric one? I wouldn't believe unless it comes out. Bro. But there was like leaks of it and so like. Well, let it come out, bro. We'll never know. You know, so with Lexus, even with the LFA, bro, they, they teased us for like 10 years, bro. Yeah, they got that. All right. Yo, this is so much lower. It's totally different. Yo, it's insane. Yo, the interior is crazy, bro. Anyway, it's so it's so low. It's though, a like, totally it's different so low. interior. Yeah. It's meant to be. It's this is low. This is insanely low. This is, is, insanely low. This is lower than the G R eighty six. No, no, it's lower because you it's lowered like the that. The seats you are can, lower. Yeah. You can put it back up. Yeah. Yeah. They left it like that, so I won't fix it. Yeah, it's different. Damn. The screen too, like. The interior is different. Yeah. Dude. No, because in those cars, it looks Wait, all the this same. This thing actually has back seats. Like, yo, <laughs> who's going to sit here? No, it's different, it's different. Those ones are yo, different. Yeah, those yo, literally, like, only person that can sit here is if you have, if you have no legs. <laughs> you it's got super no low. legs. Yeah. It's actually going to look sick. I'm not going to lie, it's, this looks really cool. You can actually step up. Yeah. You, except, I've never seen a Buick like this. Before. Their new logo kind of looks sick, too. The concept I doubt is ever going to come out, to be honest. Maybe. What's the difference between this one and the GFT? Mm -hmm. Same power grain, just different looks. Okay. Is it? Yeah. Pretty much. Well, our friend Liam, you're trying to get your hands on the windbreaker that you're looking at. Damn, they got that. Dude, they got the AC on full blast. Not down a bit. It's crazy. Damn. This is sick. This has more legroom than the uh, thing hanging. What's the trailer too? You can connect the trailer. Wait, what? Yo, imagine, you, imagine bumping Bluetooth on the trailer? <laughs> Yo, no way they got the Play Store in here. That's crazy. But the new Z06. Super aggressive too. Like... Carbon rims. 
Dude, dude, this thing is this thing is crushing a Hellcat. What do you mean? Huh? Yeah. This thing is crushing a Hellcat. Easy. This is Z06 or which one is this? Z06, yeah, the new one. Okay, the red color is nice. That's a lot of thing. Crazy car. And they got the Artura. Got the Porsche. Yeah, we're with you guys. Yeah, the supercharger. Obviously, you got the Gotti. Okay, so the difference between this is like the in the Carrera, like this. Even though it's 2008, it kind of looks like a 2008 car. You know what I mean? Like it looks pretty old, but the the 918 and the Carrera, like it looks ahead of its time. But this is a legendary car. Even this is like in 2000, like around 2010, 2010. Let's go 12, yeah. Way out of its time. What's it till 2017? The LaFerrari? No, the Viper. Yeah, Viper, yeah, the Viper is here. I'm talking Last about the LaFerrari. Oh, but this green, like the slimy green, looks sick. It's a one of one, I think. Color. Are you sure? Yeah. Dude, the color is so sick. Like McLaren Senna, post carbon. Mm. You know, uh, this is Spiker C8 Spider. Only is the Jennifer Lopez little car. Only one in Canada. Yeah, but yo, this is such a unique car. Like, even though it kind of looks goofy, such a, like a unique car. Like, you don't, there's nothing else like this. The only 100 ever. So you got, dude, the 4 GT as well. This looks sick. LFA. Bro, one of the best sounding cars ever. Okay, now this, this is crazy. Ventador? Yeah, uh, the Reventon. The Reventon. Wait, what? Reventon. What's up? Yo, it came before the Aventador. There's only 20 in the world. And then we got the... No window. Windshield? Yo, look at the interior. Clean. But look at this though. It's built off a Corvette. Yeah, C6 Corvette. Vader. Darth Vader Hot Wheels. The Lotus Emiro. That's a... Dude, Lotuses are like really nice looking. They're underrated to be honest. The Ford GT. Look at that. Sexy car right there. GT40 as well. Let me just increase the anchor. Mm. Yeah, have you seen a... Name me one fan, fun fact about this. Go watch the movie 4 b Ferrari. Great movie. No, this is like the second person that Ferrari pissed off and made a great car. You know, Ferrari is great at making cars. Some of their own. Da -na -na -na. Yeah. Da -na. Do 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 Oh damn, Konasig, how did you see this? Konasigs, yeah. Dude, that's sick. The color is beautiful too. Play one, 2021 Regero. I guess it's nicer, but... Clean interior. The white, all white interior with the baby blue. Uh, exposed carbon as well. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> beautiful. What about the Bugatti next door? Oh, yeah. Pretty sure this is super sport. Uh, yeah, this is a purse sport. No, not a super sport. So this is the same one that Andrew Tate has. I don't know if you guys are Andrew Tate fans, but this is a car that he got. Right. The, the Bugatti Pure Sport. You know, very clean, very stylish, classy, you know, very, I don't want to say, but manly car, you know what I mean? <laughs> Andrew Tate Mobile. For three mil. The Tate Mobile. Three mil, that's, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. Tough change for a guy like me. Clean, clean. Oh wait, you know what I should do? Let me improve the audio. Okay. Oh, yo, yo. Chill, chill. Back up a bit. Back up a bit. I apologize for the audio so far. I mean, I know this is kind of like the near the end of the video, but I you know better quality now. Here we got the Mercedes Benz SLR McLaren, one of the coolest cars ever. And obviously, right over here we got the the Ferrari 48 Pista. Very clean, like like it just creams Italy. I love it. Just very the very essence of you know when you get in this car, you can, it smells like the streets of Italy. What do you what do you think? Not a single intelligent thing has been said, but you know. Okay, let, let me ask. Let me ask someone. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. So what, what do you what do you think of this car? No, I'm not a big fan of cars, bro. Sorry about that. You don't, you don't like this? I love it, but I'm not a big fan of it. In general, oh cars no, in general. Oh, all right. That's all right. What do you think of this uh, beautiful Ferrari 488 Pisa? 
I, I like how the air goes in and out that way. Um, I feel like that makes it Yo, a lot... Can you just back up a bit? Like, what's, your, what's, wrong, what's wrong with you? Listen, Is that dude, your cameraman? I think I gotta fire him, to be honest. Like, <laughs> not doing the greatest job. Anyways. Yeah. Um, hey, bro. What do you think of that car? <laughs> well, look at the paint itself, right? It's beautiful. Why is the like, logo on the other side? I don't know what's up with that. Like the logo looks lopsided. Like that looks like a DIY school project. I'm not gonna lie. But other than that, great car, like great truck. I mean, or SUV or whatever you want to call this thing. Out of all the cars you've seen so far, what is your favorite one? My favorite one so far. That's a hard question, actually. Favorite car is Saturn LC500. But the coolest car I've seen all day, I'm gonna have to say the Bugatti Sh Chiron or or the Koenigsegg Regera. Those are two like really cool cars. Also, we got this crazy truck over here. I don't know what the use case. It's a tank, but. I yeah, this is tank or whatever this thing is. I don't know what the use case of this thing is, but we have this. It's pretty sick. You know, it's bulletproof. So we got ops. You know, you can ride through the hood with that. No problem. No problem at all. All right. So unfortunately, Toyota didn't really want us to interview the, the spokesperson there. I don't really know what the entire situation was. So they just asked us to stop filming. So I don't really know. Drop down El Toyota in the chat because that, that was kind of that was kind of dumb. It's not like he, he he didn't even say anything that was secretive, right? Like all that stuff was on their website. So it's not anything crazy. Some information about the cars. That was it. So I don't know what that was about. All right. Uh. We're on the way out now. It's like 5.30. Damn, this is a long ass escalator. All right, chat, we're on the way out. It's because it's chat, you're not live. Oh, by the way, I bought two tickets. Wait, why? So I left my phone in Benji's car, and so my ticket was on my phone. So Can I couldn't... you sign into your email, bro? I can't because I need my phone to sign into my email. Nah, you're here. So I had to buy another ticket. <laughs> so, I Dude, yeah. <laughs> so I wasted $60. That's crazy. Coming to this. Damn. It looks like Subaru is sponsoring this entire hallway, but not sponsoring this video, so I'm gonna blur everything out. We didn't get much time here, but that's okay. Next year, if you guys smash that subscribe button, maybe they might let me in on media day. And that would be insane. Because then I can see with no crowds or anything, just straight me and my cameraman. That would be crazy. So make sure y'all subscribe, so we, we might be able to get media day next year. Alright.